Stylus guys are really nice, you can just get lost looking at them. In this video I'll show you how to add a stylus sky shader that's highly adjustable. We'll start with a day sky, then a night sky and finishing up by adding a cycle animation between the two. Source code for this project is down in the description and if you find this helpful please subscribe. So let's dive in. This shader is an open source shader for creating stylized skies. For the latest version, its GitHub repository is linked in the description and you want to go to go to file and you want to search for GD shader and then you open it up and then you can just copy raw file. This will copy the whole shader code and now we can open up Giro, make this a 3D scene and then in the top middle you can see these three dots and you wanna hit add sun and then open it up again and add environment. Open up the world environment and I'm gonna drag this out so it's easier to see. Open up the environment and on sky open up sky and open up sky again and instead of our procedural sky material we will remove that and it will make it black and we can make a new shader material. Open up the shader material and make a new shader. I'm just gonna call this stylized sky and hit create. Open up the shader, press Ctrl A and Ctrl V to paste the shader. And right now it's just white. So we'll start with changing that. So go into the sky and on top color, put in this color code. On the bottom color, put in this color code. And on the sun scatter, put in this color code. These are adjustable so you can change them to whatever you want to later. Now we can set up the clouds, so go into the clouds and make the cloud samples 32, cloud density 0.4 and cloud smoothness to 0.03. And we'll also make the clouds light color to white since we want them to be white. Next we'll make a noise texture for the cloud sample shape. So that's just a new Noise Texture 2D. Open the Noise Texture 2D up. And a good practice for Noise Textures is making them seamless. So enable seamless. And you can now make a new noise. And make a new Fast Noise Light. And now you can already start seeing the clouds. Now we can close down the Fast Noise Texture. And we can copy it and paste it onto the Cloud Noise Sampler. And you can change these Noise Textures later. Now on the Cloud Curves. We want to make a curve texture, so add a new curve texture and make a new curve. We will use three points here, so add one point and add it at the bottom left corner. Another one that's something in between these two lines, something like that. And then one at the end here, something in between here as well. I think that's a good point. Can close this curve texture down and on high clouds we can make this density 0.2 and we can also paste our noise texture to this one. So that's just easily copy over the noise texture and paste it onto this one as well. Now you'll see there's some clouds above the other clouds. And we can also go into Astro and on Astro Tint we can set it to this color and this is basically the color of the sun. So if we move around the directional light you'll see it's moving. Then you want to give it a texture. So I'm going to go back to the Astro and we will make the Astro scale 9. Make the Astro intensity to 3 and Astro sampler that's your texture for the sun. In this case I have a sun texture here that I will drag in into the sun sampler. So I will drag in my texture. You can change the scale of it. Smaller makes it bigger. It's sort of in reverse, but something like in this case, free works fine. And intensity, that's basically the energy of the sun. And lastly, there's stars and shooting stars, and that's for the night sky, unless you want stars during the day. And I also like making some adjustments to the scene so we can enable adjustments and increase the saturation to something like 0.5. I think that looks a little bit better but this will affect your entire scene. You could also make the colors just more saturated. And now we're done with the day sky. It's looking really nice and you can adjust your noise textures and open them up. And for example you could make them cellular 
you could try out the different noise types for them, whichever one you like the most, and even adjust it even more. So it's highly adjustable, and I think the cellular one is nice. And if we click on other ones, they should have updated as well, since they should be linked to each other, since we copied them over. If you don't want them to be linked, click on this little drop down arrow, make unique recursive, and that will make the noise texture 2D unique, and it will also make its uh, noise, fast noise light unique, so they won't be linked anymore. I'm gonna copy the directional light and world environment, and make a new 3D scene, and paste them onto the new 3D scene. I'm gonna right click on the world environment and make it unique recursively so it doesn't link up with the day sky. Same as before, go into the sky, go into the sky again and open up the shader material. Go into the sky and we'll start with changing the colors to these colors. Something like that and we don't want the colors to be white anymore so we can go into the clouds and change the clouds light color to something more bluish i'm also gonna increase the smoothness to 0.5 and cloud shadow intensity to 8 and you can also disabling the high clouds i think it uh, gives a nicer effect making it more minimal then we can go into the astro and on astro scale we can't actually see the sun on the night one, so you could ignore the astro on the night one. Go into the stars, and if you want many stars, you might want to increase it to 5, and if it's in a city or something, you can decrease it to 0 because of the light pollution. So that would make it more realistic, and if you're out in nature, making it max would be more fitting. Then we have shooting stars and on the shooting star sampler I'll drag in my texture and the color of the stars I'll put in this one and you can't really see them yet so we'll have to increase the intensity so making it max will make it shoot down a lot of stars. Now I can see the sun apparently or the moon in this case so you would want to make that white I guess change the size of it. You may not want it to have as much intensity. 0 0.2 is fine and 6 on the size. You will have your little moon in the sky. And now we're pretty much done with the day and night. So I'm gonna save the scenes as day and night. And now for the day and night cycle, I'm gonna make a third scene and I'm gonna make this a 3D scene. I'm gonna copy over my night sky and paste it onto this new cycle scene. And we will also add an animation player and make a new animation. Animation and new, name this something like cycle. And we will want our animation to autoplay whenever we play the game. And to do that, you can just do autoplay on load. This will make it blue. And I think it's quite normal in games for one minute to be equal to one hour. And there is 24 hours in a day so we will start by making it 12 and multiplying it by 2 later so 60 times 12 this will give us the right amount of time make sure the time is set to 0 then we can select our world environment and open up the world environment open up the sky sky again and shader material and we can go into the parts we want to change in this case it's the clouds color so we will key that. We will also want to change the sky and that's the colors of the sky. So I'm gonna make a key for all of them. And we will also want to change the astro. So that's the color of the sun or moon. Make a new key for that as well. And then you can do key for the stars and the star intensity. Then we can zoom out and move our time to the last frame which is frame 720. And the ones we want to change right now is the shooting stars. I can't change the value of them. So to be able to change the value, I need to go up and on sky and this little drop down arrow and make unique recursively and hit okay. Now if we open it up again, we can change the values. And for intensity, we want to make this zero and make a new key. We also want the intensity for this one to be zero and our sun color to change to yellowish and make a new key for that 
I realized that you probably want to change the intensity as well. So I'm going to move down to the first frame, make a key for the uh, sun intensity and go to the last frame and make it max, so free. Then we go into the sky and we can just copy our day sky colors and make a new key for them. Copy the other ones, make a new key and lastly the sun scatter. Make sure you have a key for all of them. And then on the clouds, we will make the clouds light color to white. Now you'll see we have our day sky again. Make sure you key this as well. And here we have a key for everything. So if we drag between these, you'll see it's changing from day to night. And now if we were to multiply this by two, this will take 24 minutes for it to change from night to day. And then it doesn't change back to night. For that you want to enable animation looping. And now if we drag between here again, night to day, and back to night again and to show this off quickly i'm gonna divide it by 100 and i'm gonna drag and select all of these keys and move them over here i'm gonna zoom in to this point and drag them to something like that i just realized we want them to be in the middle it doesn't have to be exact and now if we play it That's basically how it's looking and you can change however many values you want and if you go into it you can see the values changing. I'm gonna pause this animation and save this as a cycle. I was having a problem where I was having many scenes with the day sky so the way I was doing it was uh, opening up the sky and on sky material I was saving this and if you save this it will save as day.tress if you were to make a new scene and make this a 3d scene and add a world environment and a sun you can just go into the world environment open it up and on sky sky and remove that and we can just drag in our sky but if i move between them it would make the sky black and that's because they were using the same resource i don't know why it was making it black but the fix for this is actually saving a different one for the for the other scene so you could just make it day two so this one has its own sky resource so they aren't linked if you're having the same problem so if you're having the problem with the sky being black have separate resources for the sky material and a thing to be aware of is this shader is made for the forward plus rendering so it's not compatible with the compatibility compatibility is used for html5 web builds so it won't work for that but if we switch over to mobile and save and restart you will see it's still working but it's a little bit more blurry but i would still say it's acceptable right so you want to keep that in mind because a game jam i was doing i found it out the hard way and they don't have any plans on making it compatible with uh, compatibility but anything is possible with open source Thanks for watching and special thanks to our Ko-Fi members for making this video possible. If you want to support our work and have your name be featured in future videos, check out our Ko-Fi in the description. And we'll see you in the next one.